Sicilian defense, an amazing opening. So let's learn even more about the Sicilian defense. So e4, c5, this is called the Sicilian defense. Knight f3, d6, standard moves. He goes d4, we take, and here he takes with the queen. This is called the check hover Sicilian. So after knight c6, he has to go back, obviously losing a bit of tempo, but that doesn't matter. So g6, we start a fianchetta. He goes c4, we finish the fianchetta. He goes knight c3, we go knight f6, just developing our minor pieces, nothing unusual. h3, we castle, he goes bishop e2, we go knight d7, starting to jump around with the horse and maybe get it into a better position. He castles, we go queen b6, we exchange the queens with our knight, he goes knight d5, and here we don't take, we go knight a4, attacking this pawn with the bishop from over here. So he defends b1 and we just jump to c5 looking for openings and then we could disturb him with our beautiful beautiful knight. Hey man, video games are cool and all, but you know what would be more fun and better for you? If you start playing chess well, and learning. How do I learn in the best way possible? Well, you follow Alex Chess. But if after c6, he goes b5, pinning our knight, we go d7, getting rid of the pin. He takes, we exchange, he pushes his pawns, we go knight f6, he goes knight c3, just developing pieces, nothing too special. g6, again, fianchetta, he castles, we finish the fianchetta, he goes back to d3, we castle. He develops his knight closer to the middle, an aggressive knight. We go b6 trying to get rid of this knight. He goes d1 with his rook, trying to double down on the defense. We go g4 with this amazing knight. He goes queen d2. And here we take the knight. He takes our queen. We take his queen. He takes it with the rook. We go f6. And here we have a very, very nice knight who can later on do some nice hops and manipulate around enemy territory.